Good morning, Quackcopter101 here, and today's shout out goes to Merrick Photograph. Merrick Photograph was first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus one's a shout out, so congratulations. Good morning, Quackcopter101 here, and I have a new neat aircraft for you today, folks. This is the KF Plan KF700 J20 aircraft. Um, looking at it, you can see it's a really interesting design with dual brushless motors up in the front here uh, for providing differential thrust. That's what they actually do. That's how, notice that there's no rudder control on this particular aircraft. We have a vertical, two vertical stabilizers, but no, uh, I'm sorry, not elevator, rudder. There's no rudder on these things. <laughs> so, for to provide that uh, fourth channel there, we use, uh, this aircraft uses differential thrust to to uh, roll the, or yaw the aircraft left or right. Although it uh, does also have yanking and backing turn, and I'll talk about that here shortly. It's true four-channel aircraft. Okay, it only weighs uh, 135 grams with a battery installed, and that means that this airplane does not require registration in nearly all countries, folks. So that's great in, in that point there. Uh, additionally, uh, we, again, I mentioned that it's four-channel aircraft. We have throttle control of the motors, both motors. Uh, we have um, yaw control of the motors. Not rudder control, yaw control, where we have differential thrust from the motors. And we also have elevon control of these two back um, control surfaces here of both elevator. Which if you pull back on the stick, both of these will come up. And also it has aileron control where uh, you can roll the aircraft. And combining it, both of these uh, controls together, these are true elevons. Okay, other things about it. It's constructed of... Uh, flexible crash resistant EPP foam and uh, additionally uh, it's power these uh, brushless motors here are powered by 7.4 volt 700 milliamp hour batteries with this is really unusual folks a three-pronged low C type connector okay I've never seen this before so um, what because of this I recommend if you are interested in this airplane make sure you purchase the bundled two battery pack Okay, because I don't know where you get extra batteries like this, because I've, I've never seen this, you know, three uh, three prong white low C connector before. I'm, I'm probably wrong. There's probably others out there who've seen them before, but I've never personally seen them like that. Uh, let's take a closer look at the airplane again. Okay, I mentioned it's again dual brushless motors power this airplane. Looking it over, let's look at the belly surfaces of this. We notice that we have uh, two. Uh, servos that control these elevons back here. Additionally, there is an, this is the battery bay where you insert the battery. Um, this is the flight control board is under here. Now, it does have an on-off switch right here. Uh, I like to see on-off switches. <laughs> it makes it easier to get the airplane in the air, have it all plugged in and ready to go when you go out to do a review. <laughs> Just flip the switch. So I, I kind of like to see that. But um, other things about it, there looks like they were planning on putting possibly a camera on this at one time because there's a, a slot here for uh, inserting something into that thing there, but that never came to fruition, I guess. So, But all in all, you know, interesting looking airplane. Now let's talk about what this can do, okay? Um, the controller is a 300 meter, uh, meter controller uh, powered by four AA batteries, as you see there. But with this controller, you're able to actually uh, conduct, uh, automatically conduct uh, advanced uh, aerobatics with this airplane. To do such, let's go over the buttons, and we'll, we'll talk about that. First off, this is your rates button, uh, speed button, let's call it that. And what this does is reduces the angle of attack on the aircraft. Uh, if you want to fly faster, it'll reduce the angle of attack and thus give you higher speed flight. Uh, but uh, most beginners are probably going to want to fly in mode one. We have an on-off switch right here. Uh, this button here does nothing. Okay, it's just for looks for this particular aircraft. But again, this is your throttle. And this is your yaw. Not rudder. Yaw. It's what's differential thrust. This is your uh, ailerons control and your elevator control. And again, a, you can uh, combine both of those controls together for uh, yanking and banking with this particular aircraft, so I don't know how much rudder can, turns I'm going to do, but we'll try to do combined turns where we take it out into the field to fly it, and I'll flip them both like this and see what we can do. <laughs> so, um, other things on this controller, 
Uh, this button here is for doing automatic uh, rolls and automatic uh, loops. You press this button one time, pull back on the stick, and the aircraft will do an automatic loop. If you want to do an automatic roll, press this button here and either tell it to do a left roll or right roll, and the aircraft will automatically do it. Now, this button here is for your advanced flight modes of uh, vertical flight and inverted flight. If you want to fly this like a drone, vertically, this, press this button one time, a quick press, and this aircraft will automatically go straight up, nose up, and you can fly it like a drone, okay? With left, right, forward, back, and you are right, you are left and right. <laughs> so, and up and down with this particular stick. Um, and to come back out of that, just do a quick press, and it will come out of drone mode. One other mode this does is inverted flight. If you hold it down for two seconds, the aircraft will automatically flip inverted and fly, fly stabilized inverted. And when you want to come back to normal, you press it down for two seconds, and it will come back to normal flight again. Now, there's one thing about this aircraft. There is no manual mode. Okay, all the modes that you fly with this particular aircraft are all gyro stabilized, so you're not going to be doing uh, manual loops or manual rolls or manual stunts with this particular aircraft. They're all automatic. And again, this airplane is primar primarily meant for beginner pilots because of that, if you think about that. So, that is the KF-700. Let's talk about what you get in the box. You, of course, you get the instruction manual written in English and Chinese. recommend reading it. You get the aircraft, as you see here, uh, along with these uh, um, landing gear that you have to install. Other things you need to install is you need to install these two vertical stabilizers. They're just clip-ins. They're real easy to put in. It takes you about 30 seconds to install them. Uh, additionally, you get a battery charger along with these two uh, 700 uh, milliamp hour batteries. Again, I recommend buying the bundled version with two batteries because I don't know where you're going to find, again, this type of battery with this type of connector unless you wire one up yourself. <laughs> so, um, other things you get in the package is the controller, of course, along with a spare set of propellers for the airplane and a screwdriver to change those propellers. So, that's what you get in the KF-700 box. Very interesting airplane. I'm really excited to take it out in the field and see what it can do. So, Hope you enjoy these flights, folks. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and welcome to beautiful Pleasant Ridge Park for the test flight of the KF-700. Okay, I have the battery already inserted in there. All I got to do now is to turn on the on-off switch to on and place it on a flat level surface and turn on the controller and to bind it up and down on the throttle and the lights are solid and we should be good to go checking the control well actually got to give it a little throttle before the control surfaces kick in left right I'm not seeing a lot of movement but we'll see if that has any effect in the flight up and down we're good okay to take this off or take off with this you got to hold it in the back folks keep your fingers away from that propeller wind is kind of non-existent right now so let's get in there give it some throttle Whoa, that thing takes off. Okay, interesting flight profile in this thing. <laughs> Let's try to bring it in closer. Interesting. Let's try that vertical. <laughs> it's inverted. <laughs> So inverted, it flies like a normal, you know, up is down on that. So I'm pulling up right now and it's keeping it in the air inverted. And there's vertical flight, folks. Oh, nope, it goes inverted and it did some loops there. So I cut off the throttle to save it <laughs> from doing any more damage. So let's go over and take a look at that thing. Interesting way this thing flies though. I'll tell you right now, very interesting. I hope it didn't break it. Come on. I think it's still in vertical flight mode. Let's let's turn it off though. We're gonna rebind it. We're gonna rebind it on the, the pad here. And turning off the transmitter too. So that's interesting the way that worked there. 
Um, I don't know why it was doing those loops, but it did. And that inverted flight, that was interesting too. Okay, let's see if that motor comes back on again. No. Rebinding. Reconnecting. Okay, everything seems back to normal again. This time I'm gonna go to higher rate when we launch it. So, checking the motors. Everything seems to be working and away we go. Higher rate, second rate. Okay, although this thing can turn Using the uh, differential thrust, I recommend not doing that. Um, it flies better if you fly it as like a three channel. Using just yanking and banking seems to be better at it. I want to see how it flies gradually. Whoa! Got hit by a wind blast there and did something weird there. The wind is coming from that way. Okay, I want to try a loop. Give me some throttle. Uh, don't do loops, folks. <laughs> it doesn't recover from them very well. As you saw there, it did a loop and then it, it's kind of stalled <laughs> on, on the down loop. So we're, not, we're going to skip loops with this. But I want to do try rolls. Let's see how rolls work with this thing. So, going back over, and the wind is picking up. I gotta say right now, the wind is starting to pick up here. So, we're gonna, and the wind's coming from that direction. So let's get back in the air. And launching. How about a roll? That's not a roll, it's trying to fly vertical. I don't know what it's doing, folks. I held down the, the shoulder button. That was supposed to do, put it into roll mode, but no. Went back to beginner. Okay, there we go. Let's do the roll again. That was just a quick press on the left, so the instructions might be off here. Okay. Quick press on the, the right shoulder button. Watch. And it does the roll. It does the roll quite readily. So long press, I guess, does the loops. Let's try that again coming toward me. Long press. Uh, not doing it. Come back over here. Now this <laughs> this requires quite a bit of real estate to fly. I'm not doing that uh, holding down the button anymore for the loops. The loops don't seem to work very well with this. And it's just real high alpha right now. Pressing that button again. See if that comes out of it. Okay, yeah. The wind is picking up. It's trying to go into the wind. And I'm having to give it a little rudder or two to increase that turning radius. Whoa! <laughs> it went vertical there for a second. Let's go inverted again. Okay, flying inverted. I'm gonna have to push down to bring it down, but it's inverted right now. <laughs> it flies inverted real well. <laughs> I'll give it that. As you can see there, it flies inverted real well. Now you can pull up on the stick and it climbs you know so even though it's inverted 
you can fly it like it's normal. You don't have to push up the climb is what I'm saying, or push down the climb, you pull back the climb. The wind is picking up again. So I'm gonna come out of invert it. Long press, flying back to normal again. Okay, wind's at my back, so we're gonna do some Am I in second right? No, I'm in second right now. We got to, because of the wind there, I got to turn a little bit faster than what it's been doing here. So I put it in second right. I don't know why it looped there. You saw that, folks, right? <laughs> gets hit by the wind. If it gets hit by the wind gust, it kind of confuses it sometimes. Let me try, you know, it needs some downward trim, and to do that, you hold, the, you hold the left trigger button down, and then push. That's how you give it, you adjust the trim. I forgot to mention that in the uh, review, but you can adjust the trim. Turn faster, yank and bank. <laughs> It was heading toward those trees. You got to yank and bank to steer this one. I want to keep away from those trees. Turns to the right real well. Turning to the left is a different story, it seems. Let's try that again. Oh, there we go. Now I got a second battery we're going to try if this survives this first flight. <laughs> But interesting plane, huh? Interesting concept. The KF. Whoa! It keeps doing that. It'll do an automatic roll here. <laughs> when the wind hits it, it confuses that. Uh, you know, if a wind gust hits it, it sometimes gets confused, folks. Got to give it a little. You got to use that rudder with this for these turns. That differential thrust. Okay, gliding, 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 or not gliding, but just barely any throttle at all with the wind here. Trying it again, going around again. Can I still do, well, I, I'm not gonna try the vertical right now because of the wind. But let's try the inverted flight one more time. Cause that is cool, inverted. Oh no, that's a vertical flight. And then coming out of it, holding it down. Invert it. Oh, that's a loop. <laughs> it does repeated loops. Don't do loops with this folks. That loop feature doesn't seem to work very well. Just giving you a heads up on that. Um, the roll feature works, but the long press loop feature does not. <laughs> so I hope I didn't hurt it any. We're still able to fly. Let's find that. Wind's still coming from that direction. Bring it in the back like so. And coming around again. So again, this is the maiden flight. We're seeing what what it can and can't do. Rolls, it does well. Let's do a close by roll. Loops, it doesn't do as well. Into the wind. Right overhead. And we'll do one going downwind. Quick press gives you the rolls. Long press gives you the loops. Avoid the loops. <laughs> if there's any wind, avoid the loops. Does that real well. And how about the inverted flight? Well, that's vertical flight. Doing that. Okay, doing the vertical flight, okay. Let's bring it over here and do that. The wind is 
a little bit died down right now. We got an opportunity to do the vertical flight. Quick press of the function button gets you there. Coming back, quick press. There it is up there, vertical flight. And you can loop it with the yaw. Quick press again. Coming out of that vertical flight could be an issue though. How about inverted? Long press. Long press gives you inverted flight. It does real well inverted. <laughs> See if I can get it in close. Show you that. Long press gives you inverted. Let's come out of inverted. Long press and back to normal flying. So in effect, with this particular aircraft, you can do 3D flying, which is odd. <laughs> um, automatic 3D flying, that is. Come back to me. The wind hits it and it does that as uncommanded loops, folks. It's kind of tail heavy. I'll give you that right now. And that seems to be some of the problem here. <laughs> Going in and out of vertical. Invert it. Dang, it flies good inverted. <laughs> Long press, coming out of inverted. And coming around again. Let's do a roll. That rolls real well. I'm not going to do any more loops. Doesn't do loops well. Does those real well, don't it? The other way. Whoa. <laughs> okay, we're getting some alerts here. <laughs> that almost got me, folks. But we got to land. Hear that beeping? Let's bring it in. And let's put another battery in it. That was interesting and fun and informational. <laughs> Wild flyer. This is okay. We're gonna put a second battery in and give it some more flight time with this. So hold on folks Okay, this will be the second flight. I've done with the KF 700 um, I tried to take off from the dirt over there. It doesn't like to take off from dirt folks <laughs> So we're gonna hand launch it again. So and again, the wind is still blowing from that direction there in my face So we got to launch it that way holding it like so checking the throttles and Tossing it in the air. Wind is picking up here, folks. And today's flying. Yeah, keep it moving. This is kind, this one flies or flies kind of like a EDF jet. You got to keep this thing moving, <laughs> or else it'll stall and flounder. Coming to ride again, doing that again. Boy, this does this. rolls real well. Automatic rolls. Going through the sun, as usual. <laughs> Good thing it's a loud bird. This is a loud bird, folks. Oh boy. You see that? That thing can stall and do a flat spin. Let's try that again. Coming overhead. Throttle off. Throttle back on again. 
So we had, you gotta keep this one moving. And I'm gonna try to keep it close and moving. Trying to keep it moving. But it doesn't exactly turn on a dime. Well, there you go. You give it a little more yanking and banking, it does, and it turns like wild, <laughs> like that. Go and invert it. God, why does this thing fly much better on inverted than it does right side up? Interesting airplane, I'll give you that. Flies a lot better inverted. Coming out of that. Let's see if we can go uh, vertical again. Vertical. Coming out of vertical. Trying to come back down. When you come back down with this, don't try to come back down by reducing throttle. It'll stall. Come back down by giving a downward pitch or downward elevator, it seems to be. Because if you try to glide it in, it, it's, it is no, nose or tail heavy, tail heavy, I'm sorry. And this thing will stall. You got to keep it moving. Probably need to add some weight to the nose of this, folks. Definitely actually need to add some weight to the nose of this to keep it moving. The wind is picking up right now and I'm trying to keep it moving so I don't uh, stall it because it does wonky things when it slows down. But yeah, I'm d using differential thrust right now to turn it. That does work. And yanking and banking now. Got to keep it moving though. Yeah, this is kind of like an EDF. You got to keep this thing moving. But such an interesting plane. But again, there's no manual mo or manual flying of this. It's all automatic. Oh, and with the uh, got to get closer too. The wind is blowing it away. The wind is picking up, folks. Trying to keep it closer, but. We're going to stay over here for now so you can see it. Okay, we're starting to run out of battery power now. So that's our flight time. We're going to bring it in for a landing. One more roll. Plop. So that's the flight of the KF700. Weird airplane, <laughs> strange. I never seen one like this before, but it flies. <laughs> okay, uh, interesting too. Interesting airplane. Lets you do uh, uh, vertical flight. Lets you do inverted. Oh, it does. It does inverted flying real well. Lets you lets you do uh, rolls and loops. Loops are kind of an issue with this airplane. <laughs> so, <laughs> but all in all, interesting airplane. Kind of like to fly it. But you do need to keep it flying fast because uh, once it slows down, any wind gust here will make it do all kinds of weird gyrations in the air. And uh, I can feel right now that battery's flopping around a bit in there. You might want to include some uh, foam around the battery because that battery is probably affecting the gyro too because of it flopping around. So, okay, it's Quadcopter 101 with the KF700. Hope you enjoyed this flight. It's Quadcopter 101 signing out.